And welcome back to Janky AF. Now, uh, I wanted to tell you just a little bit more about this 2002 Jetta station wagon in uh, with a manual transmission, crank windows, and in this beautiful color of uh, simply red, or very red as I'm calling it intermittently. Um, now, this car was purchased new uh, by a doctor who was a friend of Ed, the former owner's father, also a doctor, and shout out to Dr. Bauer. Um, now, Ed went to undergraduate, didn't have a car, and then he moved out to Las Cruces, New Mexico um, for grad school to be a geologist, and he needed a car, he needed some wheels. So uh, Dr. Bauer um, just so happened to know that his other friend, the doctor there, was selling this car. It only had 40,000 miles on it. It was uh, purchased new by him, and it had this kind of quirky arrangement of the base model. So it's got manual transmission, crank windows, as I said. Um, I can't imagine there's too many of these in red, as you'll see in some previous videos. It's a very, very rare color. Um, so Ed went ahead and purchased the car and he's had it for the last 10 years. It now has 152,000 miles on it. The air conditioning finally broke. He's in Houston now. And uh, so he moved up to a Ford Mustang Mach-E, which maybe you've seen the review of on Janky AF. And uh, it was time to get rid of the car. He's not a big car guy. Didn't have a ton of trade value. And um, because I had lusted after it for so many years, he uh, sold it to me for the janky sum of $10, and janky do thank you to him for that. Now, I did have to go retrieve the car, and I'm going to make another video on what exactly it takes to buy a car for $10. Turns out it, uh, you know, there's a few steps involved, but overall, very, very good and fun process. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to let, we did a little walk around while we were in Houston, and um, Ed took us around the car, showed, showed us some of the, you know, fine details and whatnot. So, I uh, hope you enjoy this. We're going to do a road test real soon on Janky AF. So, I um, hope you stay tuned, and uh, Janky do thank you. <laughs> All right, here we're, we're welcome back, Janky. If we're here with Ed, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this 2002 Volkswagen Jetta. Ed, where'd you get this car? I uh, got this car from a family friend in Cooperstown, New York, in 2009. You've had it how long? So, 12 years now. That was your first car you ever had on your own because you needed one when you were going to New Mexico. Is that correct? That's correct. I was going to uh, New Mexico State, and so got the car on a Tuesday. It's a uh, manual. And I had never driven stick before, so I had three days to uh, learn how to drive stick, and then I got on the road, I think, that, like, Friday morning. All right. Take us around. All right. Um, so it's the wagon edition, which is, uh, I think, pretty great because I was moving cross-country, so I had plenty of trunk space to move what little belongings I had to to New Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, it came with, with 40,000 miles on it currently has 150 so over the last 11 years or so I averaged about 10,000 miles a year um, came with this dent here above the right wheel a left left back wheel I did not put that dent on there came with that rust spot down there granted it's gotten a little worse over the years but that was uh, that was with the car and a clear coat fade likewise there's a little clear coat here and there's a little uh, little spot up front there came okay. with the car. All right. Uh, one of the major upgrades I made to the car over the year is that you can now see through the uh, the lights there. That yeah, used to nice. have like a real bad, uh, I don't know what you call it, film on it. Yeah. You can barely see the headlights yeah. com coming through there. Uh, this little piece came off. I, uh, I hit a curb somewhere. Nice. I don't know, pulling into a parking spot. And, um, didn't notice it until much, much later. Yeah. Remembered hitting something, but didn't <laughs> didn't know that that happened. Uh huh. Um, keep going around. Keep yeah. Keep on coming around. Definitely, uh, it's better side here. Yeah, yeah. It's good side. It's great. Um, it doesn't have like one of those like you can't like hit the thing. Yeah. To pop it open, you there's a little lever on the yeah. door that yeah. pops that bad boy open. And also the screw comes like it doesn't attach to anything. You gotta. Yeah, that that broke off a while. While okay. Back. All right. Uh, it's like nice struts here. Yep. The struts they they might have been re replaced at some point. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. Um, 
The great cover in the back here. Mm -hmm. I love this feature. Uh, Boy, it's already starting to fill up with janky stuff. Keep, keeping, but but you you stop for gas, you stop to eat along the way, and your stuff is yep. protected from the sun, yep. protected from the elements, protected from any petty thieves. <laughs> um, All right, should we go right. inside? Yeah, let's take take a look inside. I'll hop in the other side. So obviously manual transmission, five four five five speed, five forward speeds as my father likes to say. The, the doors could use a little WD forty, but yep. that's uh that's fine. So I notice your glove compartment. Yeah, this came off maybe like five, six years ago. You okay. can you can still hit it in there and yep. and it'll open. Uh, it'll fall, it'll, it'll oh. fall all the way out. Oh, it acts as like a tray Because it doesn't doesn't connect and it broke off there, but you can get those little hooks in. You could eat lunch on there. Oh, maybe you can get the hooks in. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Well, I'll leave it down there for now. It does. Oh, oh I'm gonna get it. I think you're off on the left. I think the right's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got. It. There we go. Is this your air conditioning system Perfect. down here? Yeah, currently that's one of the reasons I uh, finally agreed to transition the car to new ownership. Yeah. As I've been living in the uh, Houston heat where it's 110, 100, and 100 plus in the summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, the AC has crapped out on me two summers in a row now. Yeah. And uh, the cost to fix it was growing. Yeah, when they quote you? Around 1500 Oh, okay. I thought it was more than that. Uh, 15 1500 but when we get in there and undo some of the, the things like they look so rusted and everything that the price could go up oh 1500 to look at it basically no well well they looked at it but they were like once we start taking it apart if some of the seal things don't yeah like it, they were like it looks like the ac unit hasn't been looked at or touched in the last 10 years right so everything was uh not in good shape uh-huh Headliner, a little uh Yeah, a little low. Yeah, that's all right. Um, nice and fl flaps around in the wind. Manual windows. Crank windows, yeah, love, that, that was- a, Love these. That's amazing. So, that's always a feature I bring up when people ask me about my cars. Yeah, uh, can, yeah I can roll the, got roll windows and I got a, uh, I got a tape deck. You don't uh, see those these days. Does that work? Uh, tape deck works, yeah. Okay, but not all the speakers do? Not all the speakers work, no. Okay. No. AM, FM radio. Yeah. Crank windows are always good just in case you drive off of a pier. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, power outlet doesn't work here. Yep. Yeah, yeah your 12 volt, 12, little 12 volt, but that oh, doesn't. You some spare chi chi in there. Yep. Yep. You never know when you're going to have a toll to pay. I love how the change compartment matches the body color of the car. There's a little. That was a nice feature. A little seal there. Yep. We got a little, uh, mm -hmm. little doodad on the parking brake. Yep. Parking brake works. Yep. Runs nice and cool. Runs it. Runs right in the middle of the gauge every time. Great, great mobility with the seat coming forward and back. You oh, can yeah. really give yourself a lot of oh, quite a lot a, of room in the back. Yeah, a lot of range. Yeah, a lot of range. A lot of range. So that's, that's nice. Uh, you know, good yeah. for passengers <laughs> of any size. Yep. All right, let's move it to the back, oh, shall we? Oh yeah, one, one more. Thing. This is a key feature, a memorable feature. Oh, yeah. That is uh, that is uh, some sort of stout beer. Um, that exploded from someone in the passenger seat in New Mexico. Uh, it, it just exploded in here. So that and, that uh, comes with the car. Yeah, so that comes with the car, and I, I never, never fixed it or never yeah. cleaned it. So yeah, good. And that's uh, um, it's New Mexico period. Yeah, it's got great. Oh yeah, very nice. Great little you know light window feature there. Uh -huh. uh, same same oh, yeah. thing on the dual, side. Dual mirrors. Yeah. Very nice. Lovely cloth seats in very good condition. No rips or tears. So show me how the show me how the fold down seat works, because that's kind of cool. So, make the most use of that, we're gonna yep. push this seat as far forward as we can. Oh look at that, a Rand McNally Atlas. Oh, there's a uh, Milky Way mini back here. Oh yeah, too. happy Halloween. If you want that, happy Halloween. Yeah. You should always have an atlas in your car in case the GPS satellites go down. Yep, that's true. This one's from 2010. Oh, not bad. When uh, when I got around when I got the car, yeah. so you know it's up to date. Yeah. 
The red scraper, also body color matched, yeah, comes with the car. Has never been used in Houston. Yeah. So look at this, folks. It's like stow and go seating. Forward. This comes here. You gotta pop yeah. the headrest out. And it just folds it right on down. completely flat. So you could camp out in the back of this. Absolutely, yeah, look at all that space. Cavernous. Yeah. And then I guess if you, well I guess if you really wanted to, if you didn't put the seats down, you could lay the, if you didn't do this feature, you could lay that thing down. Yeah. If you yeah, wanted to fit like yeah. lumber or something yes. in here. Very nice. Goes right back in. Have our hubcaps here with uh, the Volkswagen logo is missing on them. 15 inch wheels. Really nice Continental tires. And uh, every time you shut this, you have to reopen it from the front of the car, which is pretty funny. It's pretty sad working on that. Beautiful. Crank windows in the back too. Well, thanks, Ed. She's, she's treated me well over the years. Really glad to be uh, handing her off to a trusted friend and someone that I know is going to take good good care of her. And, uh, yes, sir. I think she's got a lot of life left in her, too. So I agree. And uh, just out of curiosity, how much did you sell this car for? $10.